someone tell the DRN to stop brewing battery acid in my teapot. Too late, Granny Gabba. He just short-circuited the hippocampus again. Wait, I thought serotonin was supposed to make you happy. Why does mine feel like it's plotting something? Welcome to Chronic Survival Mode, where even serotonin forgets it's supposed to help. This little cluster here is in your brainstem, and this is the DRN, dorsal raphe nucleus. It's your serotonin factory. When life's calm, it brews emotional balance. But in long-term fear, the factory gets hijacked. Instead of producing serotonin, it manufactures stress chemistry. The DRN's job is to convert the tryptophan foods that we eat into serotonin. But in chronic stress, the body reroutes that same tryptophan down the wrong assembly line. It becomes quinolinic acid instead. So instead of calm, you get chemical corrosion. Your tryptophan becomes fuel for the fire. So, my calm chemical turned into an arsonist? Exactly. Serotonin's evil twin burning down the spa it used to run. That toxic shift floods the fear loop. The hippocampus, thalamus, PCC, insula, and ACC. It even hits the amygdala. That's when you get emotion dysregulation, intrusive thoughts, insomnia, and even fibromyalgia-like pain because inflammation has hijacked the whole calm circuit. But the DRN isn't evil. It's exhausted. It's been trying to protect you by working overtime. But protection without rest becomes poison. That's how chronic trauma turns peace chemistry into survival chemistry. Tomorrow, we'll talk about what happens when the whole system tries to balance the damage and why the body starts showing symptoms of what the doctors label mystery illnesses. And spoiler alert, once again, it is all Substance P's fault.